everybody, uh, it's Gina. Welcome back. I've got some journals uh, completed, so I thought I'd share them with you guys. Uh, I recently purchased the um, Stampera, I think this was Botanical, oh, let me see, the Win Winter Botanic Scrapbooking Kit. This is gorgeous, gorgeous papers. So I couldn't resist, and I've done some paper bag journals. I've come back to, I think, where I've started. Um, I believe I started out with these, and it's been a, quite a while since I've um, done any paper bag journals. So I'm going to just uh, show you what I've got. I'm going to do a flip through of one because they're all basically the same, um, just maybe, you know, a few variations, but they'll all have the same um, amount of pages, the same amount of tags and pockets and so forth. Um, and I've named each of them differently, so I'll just um, point those out at the end. But um, what I did with these is, this is two paper bags, so that it's created a 5 by 7 journal. So these are not small journals, they're still like a full-size journal and I've stitched them and you'll see inside that's formed a pocket and then I just did a little tassel this was ins the inspiration from this was behind, uh, from Mrs. Cog um, she did a, a really good little tutorial because as you guys know I'm not really into the jewelry making um, but I do love the uh, tassels on a journal and this one I've just done just like Miss Cog it's just mine's a little bit smaller and you can just take it off the journal so this particular one is called Peace and it's got the tree on it. I've uh, backed this with um, some lace, as you can see, and did some stitching. Um, and then this is Sorry Silk on every one of these journals. Now, as I recall, I believe these are 60 pages, front and back. Um, and as you can see, by doing it this way, I've formed another pocket here. So um, I've just done some journaling cards, I've done some stitching, uh, lots of stamping, tags, various things, um, and then I've done some stamping on some muslin, some lace, um, tuck spots with um, some tags, uh, I've got vintage notebook paper, I've done some little, this is like a Christmas pudding recipe, um, flip up there, more vintage book page. Everything's been tea dyed. Um, here I've done a um, tea bag collage pocket. Another little handmade uh, tag. Some of the Edith Holden um, cookbook page. Just various papers. This is old um, sheet music. Some ledger paper. Uh, this was some stitching paper. Here I've done a little pocket out of a, um, this is a double pocket actually, out of music sheets. So that's been doubled up, stitched, and then I've, like I said, I've created a two pocket there. Um, got an old uh, newsprint paper bag. Lots of writing space in here. Here I've included a little um, letter to Santa. That's been tucked in. I do love these papers um, in this kit. It, it, they're just gorgeous. Here I've done some stamping. Um, I've got an old, um, it's like a, a train stamp. And I thought I've stamped that over that. Um, these are the clear front glassine bags. And that I just think that's come out really nice. I'm probably going to do that in future. Um, it was fun to try that with the stays on ink it will work so um, some more pages some little cutouts from the um, paper pack and then I've done uh, a hand stamped postcard here I've just added a little um, button with a piece of lace Here, oh goodness, it's stuck. Yeah, there we go. Another little tuck spot. Um, and this is another uh, from the, the kit. And this is a little um, stamped card I've done. 
did some collaging there. Here, I've done another little pocket, or tuck spot, sorry, and then this envelope opens up so you can add some things there. Um, oh, goodness. I did worry about that. Um, this is from... Um, these are from uh, Seneca Pond. I'm going to put her link below for these. These are some little tags that she sells in her shop. They are just gorgeous. And then I did just a couple little tags here. Just another little flip up. It's more of the scrapbook paper from the kit. And then here I've just added... Um, a little cutout with some tea dyed paper um, backed on there, a little um, tag there, and another of the journaling cards. So you've got two pockets on the front and two on the back. And that is the um, piece journal. And I'll show you the other variations I've got listed in the shop. And then I <coughs> go through those very quickly. I've got five journals, so I've got Peace, Joyful, like I said, I won't go through them because they're all the same inside. They're just, you know, maybe things are in a little bit different order, but basically they're all the same. <clears throat> you guys know I struggle with these um, duplicate journals. It's, um, I don't know why. Uh, some people can seem to do that, but for me, I, I really do struggle to, to do this. But I'm glad I've, I've got these out, because these are, I do love this paper pack. Um, this is Bright, with the little bird. Tinsel. And then the last one is Mary. Gosh, I just love those. Beautiful, beautiful images. Um, so those are the five I've got available. I do want to, to um, discuss some changes that are happening in my Etsy shop because I've had a couple of people questioning um, various things, and I just feel like I need to address this here. Um, I It's come to my attention that because I'm in the U.K. selling to the U.S., I'm getting hit with US taxes and UK taxes. So um, I'm going to leave my Etsy shop in the US open for the time being with the items in there because obviously I've already paid those listing costs. Um, but you will notice I've got two shops running at the moment. So if you, these are listed in my UK shop. So if you go in there and it looks different to what you've seen, don't worry. It's I'm just in a transition period. Um, and it's just however long it takes to get this. But I, I have to do this because it's just staggering what my bill was last month. And I just can't afford it. I try to keep my journals um, very competitively priced, I think. And if anything, I think... My journals are priced a lot cheaper than a, a lot of other people I know that are selling. Um, but I have to do this. Um, I've had queries about my shipping charges because my U.S. shop obviously is showing... I'm in the U.S. and I'm not. Um, so the, the, the prices on those um, journals in the U.S. shop at the moment might seem high... Shipping, if you are in the U.S., they, I would agree they are a little bit more, but I'm shipping from the U.K., and I just felt like I need to address that because people may be a little bit confused. Um, but I have to do that, otherwise I'm going to get hit double taxed, and I've, I just have no choice. So I hope that that addresses it. If, if you're still confused about it, please message me on Facebook, or you can leave a comment in this. Um, and I'll try to explain it, but I, I just have no choice, uh, guys. It's I have to show those um, items that are listed in the U.S. shop as U.S. Because otherwise, if I try, which I did try to for, for a month, and it's cost me pretty hefty on taxes, um, 
so this is what I've got to do. So if you if you have if there's an item you're interested in, you don't feel like the the shipping price is is fair, you can always message me, you know, I'll do everything I can, but at the end of the day, you know, it costs what it costs to ship it. So I'm sorry to have had to go into that, guys, but I do feel like, you know, I needed to explain what is happening. I'm in a transition period, and, um, you know, just bear with me until I can get everything moved over to this UK shop. So, that being said, I hope everybody's having a great week, and um, I'll be back very soon. Take care. Bye.